uh, Call Me By Your Name. You haven't, haven't seen it, no. Yeah. Uh, Call Me By Your Name was another film that Michael Stuhlbarg was in. And Stuhlbarg, a lot of people said that he should have gotten the, the best supporting mm. actor role based on a single speech that he gives okay. in the end of the, end of the movie. Uh, Timothy Chalamet or Timothy, it's also, there's, <laughs> there's discrepancies on how his name should be uh, pronounced, but I thought that he was, a, he was a good contender for the best actor role, and I, thought, I think that he might have had a chance if Oldman wasn't yeah. nominated, because it was, it's a really tough role. It's a, mm. it, he's, he's like 20 years old in the movie, mm. and he speaks... In the movie, he speaks like four languages or something like mm. that, all of them fluently. He plays the piano mm. like in different styles on, of the same music, and you can see him playing the yeah. piano. So what do you do around here? Read books, transcribe music, swim at the river, go out at night. That sounds fun. All right, later. Just watch. This is how we'll say goodbye to us when the time comes. Later. <laughs> Meanwhile, we'll have to put up with him for six long weeks. So it's, it's a role that's, plus it's, it's, a, it's a growing up story and it's a difficult thing to do and it's mm. a very sexual role and it's a very, it's still, it's still controversial. Mm. I mean, it, it deals with, it deals with homosexuality in a, in a sort of an innocent kind of way or, or a coming of age way, but Still, it's it's quite con it has some quite controversial scenes in mm. it. Um, I didn't like the movie that much. I, I thought that it was a it was. I've seen a lot of James Ivory films mm. uh, back in ninety in the nineties when they were mm. m when Merchant Ivory was the also the sort of prestige yeah. uh, power couple uh, uh, were doing these 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 uh, period pieces that were really, really well made and really, really British and mm. really, really sort of uh, well acted and, and, and subtle and so on. And then he hasn't done anything for, for many years and now he, he's 90 mm. and he, he, he writes this story and which is a kind of fresh take. But it, it had this problem of that I have with some movies that you take a movie and then you... Um, you go back a f few years or a, a few decades, and then you situate it in, in, in sunny Italy in the summer where, where, else? where, pe <laughs> where people find their sexuality. Happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just, um, I get it, yeah. and I understand why that's a really good, th those are really good surroundings. To yeah. To situate something like that in, but it's just for me. It's just, it's like. Well, it's it's the, you know the, the sunny Italy is a metaphor for the young person's sexuality yes, coming yes. into bloom. Yes, and yes, yes, yes. I understand all of this, and 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 all of this I have seen before yes. <laughs> in several <laughs> different movies, and it's easy, I think, to go to to uh, to sunny Italy yeah, and yes. make beautiful movies. No. Yeah. Um, but it just. It just didn't. It just didn't grab me no. uh, in that way. Um, it also had no chance of winning. But no. it also is not a bad movie. No. It's, it, it is a. It is a good movie. It's a solid mm. movie, and I, I encourage people to see it. Uh, and I think that a lot of people like it, and no. I think they like it for a. They like it for a good reason, but it's just. What does it mean, the call me by your name? Um, or is it the, a spoiler? Not really, no. It's, it's, the, the, the story is that there's this young guy living in Italy and he has, his, his father's American, his mother's Italian uh, or French. I can't remember. I think she's French. And they're living in Italy mm. and the father, who's played by Stolberg, is, mm. is a professor. And every summer he has these interns coming in mm. from the States living with him. Mm. Uh, helping him with his, he's a really sort of very very intelligent guy, mm. and he picks out picks out these really intelligent students to mm. come in, and then Army Hammer's uh, American Adonis mm. uh, kind of guy comes over, and the son of the family 
has a crush on him and they mm. and they begin a relationship and and once while they're lying together in bed mm. they invent this sort of game where they call each other by their own name okay uh, uh, which is a weird thing like, a bit, yeah yeah it, it it's it, it would be it would be weird in any relationship I think it it's it would be really weird in a heterosexual relationship in a way yeah. in a homosexual relationship it's kind of interesting that there's mm. these two guys who can call each other by their name and mm. it still feels like it could be their name they, why like is that, why is that a thing why is it sort of like a thing do I, I don't know that it is a thing but it's yeah. it's it's a I think I thought that it was an interesting idea yeah weird but interesting idea yeah. like that that you sort of you sort of project yourself into another person and and and, yeah, and, and, yeah, and yeah. in a relationship yeah, you sort yeah. of reflect yourself also yeah. about uh, the, that the things that you like about the other person mm. are somehow related to yourself and mm. I think that there's a lot of I think that there's a lot of subject matter there that mm. could be and I know that people are going to write about the movie in terms yeah. in those terms um, but but it is a bit weird yeah hmm. Well, it sounds like an interesting movie. It like, sounds like a sort of like a feel-good movie. It's kind of if you've if you've seen *Stealing Beauty* by oh, Bernardo Bertolucci, where it's basically the same story, mm. but it's it's with um, with uh, Liv Tyler coming mm. from the States and and finding her sexuality mm. in, in in Italy. It's kind of a variation mm. on that theme. Um, it's really pleasant to look at mm. the. The, the the casting is really good, and, but it is that kind of. Let's just say that I'm not necessarily again a part of the demo demographic yeah. that it's made for. Yeah. But I, I I'm I'm sure that there are, are there are massive amounts of 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 young women, mm. and why not young men, but especially young women who love that movie. Yeah.